What's going on everybody, Dialerix TV back with another video and I would like to discuss with you all why the Los Angeles Lakers are guaranteed to 3 P if they trade for Washington Wizards Bradley Beal. Now, I hope you all are getting tired of me releasing content on Bradley Beal because this is like my third video that I've done okay and in the words of Lil Wayne song okay Lil Wayne song 3 P by the way he said they can't stop me even if they stop me <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay but if you guys haven't realized by now we as lakers fans we get what we want okay man i did almost 50 videos last year on why the lakers needed to trade for anthony davis and i remain confident that the lakers would still get anthony davis even through all this gail benson rumors and breaking headlines and things like that because i knew that adam silver would make sure that his boy lebron james get what he wants as well okay but as i've studied great basketball minds over the years such as jerry west i knew that in order to form a dynasty and a well-equipped team one must think outside of the box now before i get into why the lakers are guaranteed to three-peat once they trade for bradley bill which I know my pops is probably punching the wall right now, <laughs> no pun intended, for punching John Wall, which I'm pretty sure every Wizards fan want to do right now after getting all that money and always getting injured, okay? But as I'm doing this video, I'm pretty sure my pops is big mad because he refuses to support the idea of me campaigning for Bradley Bill to join the Los Angeles Lakers because as you guys know, he's a loyal Wizards fan through all of the losing, through all of the heartache. <laughs> Okay, I remember those days when the Lakers sucked, okay? But he can't stand the sight of LeBron James. But a subscriber stated on my previous Bradley Bill video, we need Bradley Bill, but the question is, how do we get him, okay? And the answer is very simple in my opinion. We have a package that the Lakers could trade Danny Green, a future draft pick, Quinn Cook, who is from the D.C. area once again, which would make a great storyline. He has a championship ring, so you really don't have no use for him once you add Bradley Beal. And LeBron James dominates the ball. I'm not sure why people believe that the Lakers really need a second ball handler when LeBron James dominates the ball 24-7. You could package Alice Caruso, and the Lakers could do what the Brooklyn Nets did with D'Angelo Russell. They could do a sign and trade deal with Cal Cooper in a package for Bradley Bill okay I've also had a subscriber say well the Nets have a better offer because they could package Karis Levert Spencer Dinwiddie you know which I will say are by far some great trade assets but in my opinion the Wizards have been rebuilding since the 90s okay they have had their moments they always have their moments and then they rebuild they have their moments and then rebuild Jawan Howard Rod Strickland you know to Michael Jordan you know to Richard Hamilton then a drought Gilbert Arenas then a drought the Wizards have this repetitive formula I believe that Danny Green is a proven two-time NBA champion who's only 32 years old people think that he's so old but he's only 32 years of age and his game and his body will age very well because it's similar to like a Ray Allen I'm not putting them in the same class as Ray Allen but these guys their game doesn't require them to have athleticism because they're shooters you know Kyle Kuzma is a younger player he's a relentless scorer so he'll probably be better in a, a better environment to where he's not in a, a environment to get lost in terms of getting influenced by you know supermodels and being influenced by the LA culture you know it just doesn't fit him um Quinn Cook Alice Caruso it's just a better deal to me and nobody wants John Wall contract so he's forced to stay with the Wizards so he's not going to want to play with a bunch of young players he's going to need some veterans around him and to me the Lakers have the better package and a better offer that's the best offer you'll find around the league I mean it's the best offer in my opinion now here's why the Lakers are guaranteed to three-peat by trading for Bradley Bill. First, he offers the Lakers another deadly weapon offensively whose opposing teams they would absolutely fear. You know, as I said before with the Warriors super team with Kevin Durant, you had to be concerned about not just Steph Curry and KD, but also Klay Thompson, who is a pure sniper from beyond. And that's what teams would have to deal with every single night. So I believe that is what make us the favorites. You know, no other team will have that versatility of a big man like Anthony Davis, who's a walking unicorn. I mean, who could just do anything, he could do everything. I mean, this man can go arch his eyebrows <laughs> while getting a pedicure and make a three-point shot and he could lock up the one through five position okay then you have lebron james which we all know i'm not the biggest lebron james fan but hey i cannot take away from this man greatness you have these three top players going head to head with 
every player in the NBA, it would just be an absolute nightmare for the entire league, especially in the playoffs. And that would give the Lakers that advantage over the Clippers. The Clippers have, they went out to get Marcus Morris so they could put multiple bodies on Anthony Davis and, you know, do multiple switches on Anthony Davis and LeBron James. That would give, Bradley Bill would give the Lakers another option. You know, I read an article yesterday stating where the Lakers would trade Cal Kuzma if the Lakers failed to reach the finals or if they lost the finals or something like that. But I believe the Lakers should try to trade for Bradley Bill either way. He's more reliable, more consistent, and he has the better all-around skill set. Two, which is the most important number, which is our future. Trading for Bradley Bill now secures our future. I don't want to go back to sucking, okay? I remember the days when the Lakers only won 17 games and won 22 and 25 games. 27 games back when the Lakers had Ryan Kelly, Nick Young, Ronnie Price. I mean, do we have to rewind here, people? Okay, we know where the Lakers been. We know where we're going. We're not trying to go back. It's not about where you're from. It's where you're heading, okay? I, I don't know if that makes sense. Bradley Bill now secures the Lakers' future because eventually, you know, LeBron James has to leave. I doubt he retires with the Lakers. He probably go win a ring with the Chicago Bulls just to one up Michael Jordan, okay? These next couple of years, LeBron LeBron James will be aging, okay? So having Bradley Bill alongside LeBron takes the pressure off of LeBron to be able to be fully rested for the postseason and preserve energy. Also, Anthony Davis. Just imagine if Bradley Bill and AD could take turns. And LeBron James loves being able to kick to his shooters on the wing. And Bradley Bill is the type of player who moves extremely well without the ball, okay? And as much as I like Danny Green and I was an advocate for the Lakers for signing Danny Green this past offseason, I think that Bradley Bill, well, it's not no thing. Bradley Bill is much younger. He's more of a star. It's like it's like Showtime on steroids, okay? It's like Showtime on steroids. And lastly, the third reason why the Lakers must protect the throne. Or as Jay-Z and Kanye West once said, you gotta watch the throne, okay? Jerry West, who is the greatest basketball mind ever and has 10 times more power than people really think he does. You know, he has a lot of power. And he's making a lot of power moves behind the scenes for the Clippers fighting to take over the Lakers' kingdom. We all know that Los Angeles is a Lakers town, but the Clippers believe in their mind in their delusional mind that they could catch up. And I'll say this, even if they were to win a championship, just one before us in this last six or seven years of this drought, especially considering the circumstances of LeBron James joining the Lakers, we gave everything up for Anthony Davis. It just wouldn't be a great look. It would not be a good look if the Lakers, you know, if the Lakers lost after we done went through all that just to get an NBA title, you know, by going off of LeBron James and going all out for Anthony Davis. So trading for Bradley Bill makes us the favorites. Clearly, we'll be the favorites. You know, three years of two great players in their prime alongside LeBron James, who some believe is the greatest of all time. And trust me, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George couldn't guard all three of those Lakers' best weapons on a nightly basis. You know, it would be too many weapons. But anyway, I'm speaking it into existence. I honestly feel like Bradley Bill is wasting his great talent in Washington with the Wizards. It was reported that the Lakers were inquiring about trading for potentially trading for Bradley Bill because they know that the Brooklyn Nets are trying to seek an advantage by pairing him with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. But I honestly feel like Bradley Bill deserved to be on the Lakers. Um, you know, so grab the confetti, grab the champagne bottles and cigars and get ready to celebrate because we definitely going three pit, okay? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get in that comment box, like, share, subscribe. I'm I